morning YouTube. Today I am going to take the Rebel out over to Wales, over back and Beacons, hopefully to Landovery, hopefully land at the Owl's Nest. Uh, it's been so long since I've been in Wales, like a proper ride. I managed to get there sort of between lockdowns last summer, but it wasn't like a ride ride, it was just to see friends, so I didn't really get to do much riding as such, it was just sort of like there and back. Um, so I'm really excited. Also, I've never been to the Owl's Nest. I know it's like a, an obligatory biker stop, but I've just never made it there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go see what all the, the hype is about and uh, hopefully not get rained on. I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. After like half an hour on the motorway and then another half hour on dual carriageway which uh, those things combined felt like an entire day just doing that I feel like I'm properly in Wales now and I can enjoy it a little more so yeah I was super excited yesterday when I when I kind of remembered that we're allowed to go into Wales now because I'm so sort of conditioned to thinking where in the west country can I go today because uh, we weren't really allowed over into Wales for quite a while. And then, yeah, yesterday I was like, wait a minute, I can do Wales now. It reminds me of like a 2019. I was sort of like fresh back uh, to the UK. Just bought uh, this Rebel. So I was rediscovering the UK. Discovering the UK biker scene and, you know, UK biker friends or acquaintances or whatever. I spend a fair bit of time riding around the Brecon Beacons here, or further afield as well. It was so nice! That summer, do you not find always that when you look back at summers, they seem like they lasted forever, and it feels like the summer you're in now is just a pathetic little five minutes of uh, spring showers and then it's back into winter. <laughs> Moody. I don't know if you can see, but look at my mirror. Blue sky behind, <laughs> black sky ahead. Hi, look at him. So here we are. Oh, it's nice. So that was the owl's nest. It was alright. Had a nice bit of carrot cake there. The mocha was really nice. I imagine uh, breakfast fans would appreciate it quite a lot. Especially sort of if they're on the way to West Wales or North Wales or somewhere as a bit of a stop off. Right, so I've put in uh, a little route on my map which should take me off the A40 just for a little while. Yeah, I gotta admit, being stuck on the A40 for uh, like an hour, I don't know, I'd rather not, if I can help it, do that on the way back. So I put in a little detour just to try and find some more scenic roads. I'm not sure how successful that's gonna be. But when I was doing the Breckens a couple of years ago, I was going past sort of like a uh, lakes and stuff it's really pretty and uh, the a40 doesn't really deliver that so let's try again <laughs> I don't want to 
don't know, A40. This is what I want. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. 